morning everyone so it is currently 9 45 in the morning and i'm feeling much better today uh my phone so i woke up probably about 9 30 -ish. my phone has settings on it where it stops being on do not disturb from 9 a.m in the morning so for some reason i've just been getting loads of messages on my whatsapp this morning so i've constantly been hearing the pings and that woke me up um I've been thoroughly enjoying being quite lazy recently. So it's 9.45. I am just starting off the morning with um, some work because I put... So yesterday, um, I had a really rough day, as you saw with the video that I did talking about mental health. I have no idea what triggered it, but it was really rough. And then um, I did manage to get my work done in terms of photographing some of the new stock and putting it up on my website and that involves sending some new codes to the warehouse however when I did that I completely forgot to put one of the numbers at the beginning as like a zero and then it starts that it's what's called an SKU code a SKU code that's how they identify when an order comes through it tells them which product it is and I forgot to tell them to put a zero at the front so none of the codes are recognized on the system which means that all the orders that have been placed so far haven't gone through to them, they haven't got them, so I need to go and manually send them to them now. So that's the first thing I'm doing this morning. And then my friend messaged me last night, the one who couldn't make it yesterday, and said, I think her partner's got a Christmas party this evening, so should we have like a, a movie night and a sleepover? And I was like, oh my gosh, yes, I need that. So she's coming later on. So I need to get this work done today. And then I also, my mum brought over the overlocker that we just bought yesterday when she came to cheer me up, which was really nice. And I've got some of my, um, so we have switched to reusable Christmas um, like wrapping paper, but we've used fabric wrapping paper. So I'm just gonna like overlock around the edges of that to keep it nice for more years. We started doing this last year, bought some more fabric this year to add to, the, to like the stash. And it's going really well so far. So I've just got a few of the old ones from last year that I need to overlock over. And then I also have the pattern for the dungaree. So if I feel up to it, I might start that too. But yeah, I'm feeling, so far, feeling a lot better today. So fingers crossed this stays. I look really pink in this light, I realise. This is probably from my laptop. Um, so far, feeling much better today. And hopefully, fingers crossed the rest of the day, I will continue to feel better too. My advent cookie today is this little Christmas pudding. Look how cute it is. I'm going to enjoy eating this one. My room is starting to look a bit like a film studio in some ways with all the equipment and the charging cables and everything. So it's almost 12 o'clock now and I figured I'd get round to trying out my uh, overlocker for a bit. I've got some scrap fabric here that I'm going to use to test it out first of all. But then I'm going to overlock around the edges of the um, like fabric wrapping paper that I have from last year. So the ones that I bought this year I've already done. I did them when this was at my parents' house. But we have been using, that. we started this last year, this tradition, I think I might talk about this earlier in the vlog. We started this last year, this tradition, where we wrap the presents that are gonna be opened at my parents' house, which is where we have Christmas. Uh, we wrap them in fabric rather than wrapping paper, which obviously gets thrown away and it's not recyclable usually because of the film and it's just not so good for the environment. So we thought we'd try some fabric instead, which can be used year on year. So I have this lovely, like, um, actually I really love this print with the candy canes and everything on it. I think this is about, I think each one is about a metre. Um, and it's just like a square metre uh, bit of fabric that you then tie around. And then I also have this one with the gingerbread men. Mm. Oh. And then just a little bit more of the same fabric from before. So yeah, I'm just gonna start off testing the machine out and then I'll get round to those. So I've just finished doing the last of my stash, so all of these now are finished, ready for wrapping up presents. So it's a bit tricky actually because obviously this is a new machine for me, so I've not used it before, I've not used an overlocker before, so getting used to it. And the thread that we have, we only have, the only thread that we had for bobbin top is this really rubbish thread that I accidentally bought back when Covid first hit, this is a really bad angle to put the camera, <laughs> back when Covid first hit. Um, I did some sewing of my pads and I had to kind of buy, everyone was buying sewing stuff because obviously we were in lockdown and I had to kind of take what I could get but the thread that we got was just not good enough so I ended up not using it for my pads but it's all I've got now so this, the challenge is that the tension, I can't get the tension quite right on the machine because it won't, it won't handle the, the high enough tension that I need so I'm kind of having to improvise and also this is literally one layer of cotton so it's quite thin uh, which I think also makes things a bit trickier but here I have a piece of eco-friendly wrapping paper. 
And I even did the rounded corners, which I'm quite impressed with myself for because corners are like the first scary thing you try on a new machine. And yeah, so basically you just wrap that round and I like to sort of tie it as well when it's round the... I'll show you later on my vlogs when I've got some presents to wrap up because I'm one of those people that hasn't shopped yet. But basically, that's what it looks like and uh, hopefully should do really well. So I'm actually quite impressed with my first attempts with this new machine and hopefully when I get some better thread it'll be even easier. Just having my lunch now. This is some leftover chicken katsu curry that I ordered last night. So because I was feeling so rubbish yesterday, uh, I just decided I was gonna, I said screw it, I'm gonna order takeaway. It was the last day that my, um, I, had an Uber, I had a 35% off Uber Eats discount and it was the last day that it was running and I was like, well I feel rubbish, don't wanna cook, might as well use up this coupon and then I had this. And the great thing for me is that whenever I get takeaway, it almost always lasts me at least two if not three meals because I don't eat that much. So it actually works out, not cost effective compared to cooking but not as expensive as initially. So I'm just gonna tuck into this and then I've actually done pretty much all my work for the day and I've done that sewing. If I feel like it later, I might start cutting out some of the dungaree patterns. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling confident enough yet with my overlocking skills to give it a go, but I might do. Uh, we'll see. It's quarter to three now. I've just basically had a very chilled early afternoon watching uh, random YouTube videos. And as obviously I showed before I had my lunch. My friend just messaged me to say she's just leaving out and I've just remembered that I need to empty it. really need to empty the bins out. And it's getting dark now. Oh, messages. And it's getting dark now. So I need to very quickly run and do that. And then I think whilst I'm waiting for her to drive here, I'm going to start cutting out the outlines of the dungarees that I want to start making. So we'll see how much time I get to do that. So I did quite well on the dungaree front. I've managed to cut out and start sewing most of it. I've just got one cuff left to do and it's done. As you might hear in the background, I've now got company. So I'm gonna leave it for now. I might get time to just do that last one later on. Yeah, oh, you're playing with that. So my friend has just arrived with her little one and we're gonna have um, a movie night now together and just kind of probably order takeaway and just chat for a bit. So it is 20 past eight now and I'm gonna end the vlog here. Just keeping my voice down a little bit because my friend's trying to put um, her little one to bed next door. So I need to obviously get this video edited and up for tomorrow. And my friend and I obviously need to get some sleep, but I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I know I didn't show very much towards the end, but I basically just had a really lovely evening with my friend and her little one. And we've just been chatting and had dinner and was able to show her some of the stunning steps for weaning a little one, which is always nice to be able to pass on the knowledge, because I've had to do that a couple of times myself already through fostering. So i um, got some experience with that, but it's her first time. So it's nice to just pass that information on. Anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.